What's going on? How y'all doing? The video going to be about sports and the pandemic. And sometimes I watch um, The Odd Couple with Rob Parker and Chris Broussard just to hear a take. And it did get me wondering about a year as a sports fan, how I looked at sports in the past year. And I will ask anybody else out there. Because the one thing that was brought up, which was true. I'm a Michigan Wolverines fan. Football didn't do much. And ironically, um, it was Jim Harbaugh. Harbaugh was pushing for the Michigan football team to play. And they obviously with COVID and they, they stunk. They didn't play that good. Now, the college basketball team, Jawan Howard, is he used to play for the Wolverines back during the Fab Four days. And they're doing great. However, it's just not ringing into me. I'm just not excited about last year. Though, 64 tournament got canceled. It's a limited situation. They're still playing this year. But if teams can't, because of cold restrictions, can't make it, they got to forfeit. It's hard to get excited about it. And I don't even feel like they should be playing. It just doesn't even feel right. It just seems like something that's just too much to do. And NBA, they had the bubble last year. I wouldn't even be surprised they have something like that again. I'm not really that cool with fans and the tarp scene that you see in these basketball courts and I just there are still COVID restrictions there's still a lot going on it just doesn't feel right the NFL made it but they had to reschedule games sometimes you'd see a football game Monday or obviously Monday Night Football Thursday but you might get a Tuesday game you might get a Wednesday game you always get Saturdays Sundays but the point was you know when this virus is hitting like that it just was not the same Golf is slowly easing it back. Tennis is too, but there's still cases. You know, it's just a situation where it put things in perspective. How, and the bottom line is this, how much do you need to be entertained or do you want to be entertained? Because, you know, with the pluses and different things that you have now at home, you know, you can watch. I wouldn't go to nobody's basketball arena or football stadium or nothing like that. Mm -mm. I think anything opening is too soon with those situations. And I just don't think that it's really, it. you can tell the strain. I believe when LeBron James said he questioned having an All-Star game last week because ask yourself, you know, pandemic, people have not been that fully back, invested, comfortably, psychologically. And there's so much unknown with that, but it definitely... Sports in the pandemic definitely put things in perspective where it just didn't seem that exciting. Now, for some people, they would have issues with uh, the social commentary that was put on uniforms or floors and stuff like that. Some would. Some other people just think that it's just the biggest problem. The one thing I would say about this pandemic or no pandemic, the problem that I got with modern sports now, there are no surprises. You know. I mean, think about it. The Lakers won the championship last year. The Dodgers won the World Series. That's not exactly a surprise. Tom Brady, Tampa Bay wins the Super Bowl. Brady wins. So they, it's still kind of like ran business as usual. And that's not taking anything from people winning. It's just that you don't get this element of surprise. You know, and, um, you know, and sometimes you need an unknown, unheralded story to come out to get you some hope. But, that's just another, that is a tie into without being a tie into. But anyway, did sports in the pandemic in the past year change your perspective? I know when the um, documentary on Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls on ESPN 30 for 30, when that ran last year, and that everything was locked down, that was exciting every Sunday. It takes you back to a time when you had to wait for something once a week and the excitement of that. And that's been kind of missed in modern day sports because now you got access to so many games and so much coverage. But it's not the same as it was with the overall product. I just feel there's a lot of mediocrity, a lot of parody, and too many talking heads and stat padding, and a lot of people getting over. So, like I said, this pandemic puts a lot of things in perspective and it still is. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about um, the pandemic and sports in the past year. How's it? What has what has been the pros, cons, and the balances for you? I welcome thoughts, comments, takes. Please feel free to hit the like and subscribe, and I do respond. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another, and uh, it's been a challenging year on your entertainment and what you will see and won't see. All right, peace.